Now, instead of writing all the logic inside our web.php, it's better to move all the logic to a controller. So let's comment everything out from our web.php and let's create a new controller by typing php artisan make controller and give it a name such as students controller enter now inside our students controller we can type our methods in here and access them inside our web.php so first of all let's create an a new method by typing public function index then in here we have to return our view so to return a view in energy in laravel and inertia we will type return inertia and in here we will pass that component path so let's copy it from here and paste it here Now, to access this method in our web.php, in here, let's create a group route. So, let's type route controller, then pass our student controller, colon, colon, class. And after that, we will call our group function and in the parameter, we will create a callback function. And finally, let's type our route in here so let's type route colon colon gate student and our method name which is index now let's save everything and let's go to our browser refresh we got our date our page but without a data we can also return a view with the data also so for that let's go here and in here let's create a new method by typing public function let's give him a name of with data and in here again we will return inertia then our component path copy and paste it here then in the second parameter we will pass our data so let's pass our data as an array actually let's copy it from our web.php so this is it let's cut it from here and paste it here and comment these now let's save and let's go to our web.php and create a route to access this method so instead of this let's comment let's type route colon colon gate students then our method name which is with data let's save everything let's go back to our browser now we got our data as well dbc and dd if we change this to for example one two three four and this one a b c d e save let's go back refresh now we got our one two three and a b c d similarly we can also move this route which we pass parameters to the controller so for that let's create a new method let's type public function let's give him a name uh, something for it. route parameters and in here let's call our parameters the first one is name and the second one is last name then in in here is just let's copy everything from here because all of them are same copy paste and and comment save okay and change this one to inner shear that's it now let's go and create a route for this so let's type route colon colon gate students 
So guys, the first parameter is name and the second parameter is last name. So let's type last name and finally our NATO name. So let's copy that from here with parameters pasted here. Now let's save everything. Let's go back. Okay, we forgot somewhere a semicolon or something. Let's go back, refresh. Okay, now let's pass our first name. For example, the first name as a name and the last name as a last name. Enter. Yeah, we got our route parameters in here as well. Let's make them optional as well. So let's uh, move this logic also to controller. Let, uh, first of all, let's clear all of them from here. Now let's move this logic also to the controller. So let's create a new method by typing public function. Mm, this time let's call this one with optional route parameters. And let's call give a default value to our parameters name should be as a guest and again last name should be the default user then inside here let's move all these from our route so let's move and paste it here let's uncomment Okay, let's add inertia class here as well. So let's add it. Yeah, here we are using the inertia class. Now, this one is also done. And we can delete this one from here as well. So let's uh, comment this out and create a new route with the name of the students and pass our optional parameters so the first one is name and the second optional parameter is last name and pass our method name so let's copy that from here paste it here now let's go back to our browser refresh now we got a name and last name. If I remove the last name from here, we got name and user. And if I remove the name as well, we got our name as a guest and last name as a user in here. So it's better to move all your logic inside the controller instead of writing it in the web.php.